Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this fine classic seed beads bracelet. It's really easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets like I'll give you a link here to these earrings that are of the same pattern but with different colors. You see how differently they might look. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the material. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of 11 oz seed beads and you could use 10 oz seed beads if you want. And here I use lobster's claw clasp. You could use any type of clasp you like. This is jump ring here. I use monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about 30 inches of thread on my needle, which is 75 centimeters and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back. And what I wanna take are 12 dark beads and uh, six white beads, which is 18 in total. And I'm go going to alternate them like this. Two dark beads, one white bead, two darks, one white and I will continue this until I have the mentioned numbers. Okay guys and now I have 18 beads. If you want stop this video, pause it and pick up this sequence of beads. Okay and now I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice or three times through the loop I've made with my tail thread and now I'm going to make one more knot just like that I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull. Okay, now guys, I have this. And what I do next is that I go through some beads in this direction. And here I'm exiting out of this dark bead and I'm going to take one white bead skip this one here and go through the following two dark beads okay then i repeat i exit out of the two dark beads here take one white bead and go in the next two darks and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and now I added my last white bead from this row and I'm going through these two dark beads and through this white bead in this direction. Then I will go through the other white bead and I will change directions. Now I'm going to work in this direction, but it's easier for me to flip my work because I I'm right-handed and I prefer to work counterclockwise. It's easier for me. If you want, you could do this in the, the other direction, okay? And now I have a dark, a white and a dark. And as I'm exiting from this white bead that's sticking out, I'm going through the following white. OK, 
came. Then again, a dark, a white, and a dark. Okay, go through the following white bead here. Dark, white, dark. And I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and I'm exiting out of this dark bead here. What I want to do is take three dark beads, skip the white one, and go through the following dark white dark, just like this. Then again, three darks, okay, skip the white, go through the dark white dark. Again, okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and now what I want to do is go in this direction, tr through this newly formed flower, and go through the last three beads that I added in my previous row. Okay, one, two, three, these three beads, and I'm going to take three white beads, and go through the top three beads of my next flower. I'm, now I'm going through two, and through one more. So I'm going through three beads in total. Then again, three white beads. Go through the following flower through its top three beads. Just like that. And now guys, I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and after I added my last three beads from this row, I'm exiting here out of this bead that's sticking out the most, the middle of my three beads here. And what I want to do is add three white beads and go back in circle through this one that's sticking out the most. Okay. Now guys, I have this. Then I go through the following dark and exit through the next white bead. So I'm aiming for the next white. Here I need three chameleon beads. Skip the white one that's in the middle and go through the next white. And if you can, exit through the middle dark bead in one movement. If it's difficult for you, do it in two or three movements. Okay? Now I'm here in the center, exiting out of this dark bead, and I'm going to take three white beads, go back through this one and through the following white, take three dark beads like this, skip the central white bead, go through the next white and through the next two dark beads, then take three white beads, go back, and now guys, continue this until the end of this row.
Okay, guys. And now I'm exiting here. And what I want to do is to add a clasp to my work because this is the first element of my work. Okay, I have my clasp here. And what I'm going to do is take two dark beads. I'm exiting out of the white one, as you may see. I'm taking my clasp two dark beads and then I'm going to take two more dark beads and I go back in circle here like this okay then I'm going around reinforcing my work okay and in my next step what I want to do is go here find the place make a knot and cut my thread and I'm making here my knot by making a loop going once going second time through this loop I've made make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from then I might continue making more and more knots to be sure everything is secure and after I make my last knot I'm going through the following seed bead and cutting my thread and you could also cut your tail thread and now the first element of your bracelet is ready okay and I will make another element like this but without cutting my thread and I'll be back to tell you how to connect this to the following okay guys and what I did here is another element and I still haven't cut my thread because I want to use it to connect it to the first element here and I'm connecting it by taking one dark bead and I'm exiting out of this white bead that's sticking out the most and I'm going through the the other white that's sticking out the most and that is exactly the opposite of where I touched my clasp okay now I have this and I want to take one dark bead and I will go back in circle through this one here then I'm going back through this one I'm reinforcing my work here okay Okay guys and now I will make my knot and cut my thread and I will add more and more elements and when I'm almost ready with my bracelet this will be six elements you could add seven or eight elements and when I'm almost ready I'll be back to tell you how to attach your jump ring and finish it okay guys and when I continue adding more and more elements the same way I showed you this is what I have now I have my last element attached here you see where my thread is and what I want to do next is go through all of those beads and come here where I will attach my jump ring okay and I will do this okay guys and now I'm exiting here at the edge and what I want to take are five dark beads and I want to take my jump ring okay here it is and I'm going back in circle through this white one here okay now I have this and I'm going to reinforce my work Okay, and here I need to make a knot 
and in order to make it I'm going here through some beads in this direction okay I make a loop here and I go once then I go second time through the loop I've made and I pull and I go through the following seed bead and you could do more and more knots if you want but when you make your last knot go through the following seed bead and cut your thread and now guys my bracelet is ready okay guys and now my fine classic seed beads bracelet is ready so if you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when i make matching jewelry to the ones that i have already done as you see these earrings are made with different colors but the same pattern and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you helped me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me